Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about combo box in CSOF.NET. So, at here, go to toolbox and uh, here you can find combo box. So, combo box display an editable text box with a drop down list of a permitted values. So, let's uh, see one example of uh, combo box. So, I need two combo box in the form and here. So suppose if I enter year, so year 2001-2002, so that uh, display into the combo box too. And suppose if I enter month, so so month here and uh, uh, the display here, month, January, February, March. So let's uh, double click on form load. And uh, here, if you write the uh, combo box, so it's uh, app here. So this is a combo box one here. This is the name, and here this is the combo box two. Now here after combo box one dot. So to add the items, write items dot add here add method. So here I'm going to add one, and here after combo box one dot to items. So next, uh, I'm going to add a uh, year. Now, here after, let's go to form. Double click on combo box form. So this is the selected index change. And inside, I'm going to write if combo box form dot selected item. So two item here month and year selected item double equal to the so first condition is month so if match with month so what I am going to do so in combo box to I am going to add the item dot add so going to add at here first jam. Let's copy this line. So two, four, six, eight. So Jan next uh, of Fab here after March April May June July, August, September, October, November, and last December. So, if that condition not match, so here I am going to use also. And here combo box one dot selected item. So next is year. If that equal to year, so if that condition match, so at here in combo box that should be come at here combo box that item dot add so add here I am going to add 2018 combo box to dot items dot add here I am going to add 2019 and one more combo box to dot items dot 
add here going to add 2000 error now let's execute the code so add here I'm going to select month and if you select so add here this is so uh, displaying January February this all month and if I select here so here it's so uh, displaying month and year both so one thing I need to do at here I'm going to use clear method in combo box 2 combo box 2 dot to item dot to clear method now let's execute one more time so here if I select month so this is all display all months in the combo box. So this is a drop down list. Here, drop down list. If I select to year, so here that display 2018, 19, 20. So combo box to generally used to also the result in a drop down list. Now here after this is one example. Here after let's go to form. And uh, here I'm going to take one more combo box. So this is a combo box. So here, if you select arrow, and if you select add here, use data bond. So from database, you can also import to the data. So here after, let's go to selected value, and here add project. So click on database. Here data set. So if you are going to connect a new connection, so here. This is a server name. This is so uh, searching. So if you could not find the server name, so from here, I'm using SQL Server. So here you should copy this name, server name, and uh, paste it here. Now select the database. So I'm going to select SAM. So I'm going to show you the records inside the SAM database. So here, this is a SAM. Here, tab, and this is a record select. So here, uh, this is ID and name, this records, two columns. Now here, Sam so selected, now click on connection, connection successful, here after click on OK, click next here, and uh, here if you want to see, so here choose your database, so I am going to select table, now here after click on finish. Now here after this is things or uh, here selected. So this is ID here after value. So I'm going to show you. So right here this is uh, data source. So data source is in Sam and here data member. So at here I am going to data uh, display member. So here display member and value member. So I am going to display at your name and value I am going to give at your ID. One more time. So here this uh, name that display. So here names Rayan and Sunny that display. So let's uh, execute at here. So at here Rayan and sunny that display so if ha you have uh, lots of records of the name so that all comes or uh, this point so this is the second way to add the items by directly database and if you want to see the preview record so here so this is the records inside the table so this records or display records that's come at here and uh, say one more thing here add query so from here you can add the query so this is a sample query builder so this is a query builder 
about actually we want to execute so yeah this thing this thing now i'm going to show you one more method to add the items in combo box so let's take one more combo box add here and uh, here so you should go to added items so inside to added items into the string the collection one per line so one per line you have to select so i'm going to enter one two two one two three one two four one two five one two six one two two three four four five six now let's click on ok so and uh, let's execute the code so if you select here so this item it's the diet picker so no need to write anything directly you can edit the item so this is the about combo box so if you like to know about to uh, so this uh, all our uh, properties right here drop down so this is you can change the back end color and if you like to change the window uh, for color so this is selected come box to so here So this is a fall color that change. Execute. So see item the color of items that get changed. And here after so if you want then change the name at here so let's select convex to and uh, here this is you can lock here modifier here from here you can increase the location also so see at here size changed and location also changed and this all all our events according to project to requirement I will discuss the event. So this event about mouse I already discussed. So that's it about this video. So here, so this video I discussed about to how to add the items in combo box by using code. Here this code, and next way is to add the items by using here or database, and you can directly add it the item. So now in this video it's over. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So if you have any thought related to this video, leave your comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.